So Yogi Berra famously said, it's really tough to make predictions. And then he added, about the future. So Yogi, it is tough to make predictions about the future, and it's especially tough to make political forecasts these days. Polling doesn't really work as well as it used to. Uh, there's bias uh, in, when, in punditry that we can spot um, when we're watching TV. Uh, and the, the voters are no bargain either. You know, their campaigns are chaotic, um, they're unpredictable, uh, and sometimes they come off the rails. So political forecasting is increasingly difficult. Some of you may subscribe to the spouse rule of political forecasting, which is if your spouse says something's going to happen in politics, the exact opposite will happen. Uh, but, but we think that whether it's Brexit or the um, phenomenon of the, the Trump campaign uh, on the Republican side, uh, that forecasting is very important, uh, and it's important to get it right. And there's a miraculous thing that happens when you take two of humankind's greatest innovations, free markets and popular democracy, and you put them together. Forecasting uh, in the financial sector is astonishingly accurate, for instance. Uh, you got orange juice futures, credit default swaps, hurricane landfall options. Markets efficiently aggregate lots of information uh, and derive prices and uh, odds from value and risk. And so in, in the area of predictions, predict it is a stock market for politics. There are markets such as uh, who will be elected president? Who will control the Senate? Will we have a human being walking on Mars by 2025? And these markets are remarkable insofar as they generally yield highly accurate results. I'll get to the accuracy in just a minute. But the, the, the way it's structured is as a $1 winner-take-all contract as a share. And you can go in to predict it, and you can, I'll use the presidential example, for right now, as I got on the stage, shares of Clinton to win the presidency were trading at 80 cents. And that means that the market had described an 80% probability to that. And as far as traders are concerned, if they bought a share of Clinton for 80 cents uh, and, it, and Clinton wins the election, that is, results in a payout of a dollar. Or you can take the other side of that contract. You can pay 20 cents that Clinton will not win. And if Clinton does not win, you get the dollar. So it's a winner-take-all $1 contract. Now, what's interesting about this is that you don't have to stay in the market until the election. You can get into the market, you can make an investment of up to $850 in any market, and then you can decide to get out of the market, take your profit, cut your loss, and you can go into other markets at the same time. So the question really is, why are prediction markets so accurate? And the, the, you know, pollsters ask, who are you going to vote for? Uh, prediction markets ask, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, and so that's the, the story of Predict It. Uh, it's an online prediction stock market.